morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today is a review of a neat, neat looking Quadcopter. This is the Create Toys E902 Prober. Now, if you look at the Prober, it looks like a Star Wars speeder <laughs> in effect. Um, it's pretty darn cool. I'm, I actually, uh, I've only seen one other quadcopter out there have a little man on top of it, which is a little micro. I forgot the name of it right now. But anyways, this one looks really cool. That little man is held in place by a little plastic band, rubber band here. You can use any rubber band if, in case this breaks. And um, the reason it's only held on by a little rubber band is that um, it, he is removable. And there is, I guess there's a camera version if that you can attach a uh, SEAM X5C camera to it. It looks like a SEAM X5C uh, attachment points on here and a SEAM X5C attachment plug. So you can use SEAM X5C style cameras with this if you so desire. But uh, I would rather stick with the little guy because it looks pretty darn cool. Um, other than that, if you look at the quadcopter, it is uh, used tri-blades throughout the quadcopter. Um, each tri-blade is well protected with a uh, protection ring and there are very bright LED strips, so this should be a very good night flyer also. Um, other than that, uh, the little man on it is movable. He's posable. I got him set so he's uh, somewhat controlling the controls on the quadcopter, but you can bend him up and raise his arms and do what. Let's bend him up and raise his arms to make it look a little more interesting. <laughs> he's shielding his face from the crash. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the transmitter uh, is a basic transmitter. Uh, this is your different rates, the upper left button. Uh, you can activate the flip buttons by pressing this button here. And you can go from headless mode to one key return by pressing what would normally be the throttle trim button. And uh, these little roller buttons here are inoperative. And on the back, there are two buttons for controlling the camera. If you get a camera, this is for the photos, and this is for starting and stopping the video. So other than that, you know, it's a basic controller. The range on this is predicted to be 100 meters. We'll test that out here shortly and see if I can fly down to the other um, end of the soccer field here and make it into the net. But let's go for a flight of the Create Toys E902. Hope you enjoy this flight. And it does come with a on-off switch, I forgot to mention, and it uses SEMA X5C batteries. So that's a plus also. Three, two, one. Okay, we have the quadcopter um, turned on, turned on the switch, binding the quadcopter. First thing we're going to do is see what happens when this loses transmission. 1001, 1002, so it shuts down, which is good. We don't have to worry about flyaways, in other words. Now, first thing we're going to demonstrate is get it into the air, and boy, it takes a lot of power to get him up there. Going to higher rate. And there's a slight breeze from my left shoulder, and he doesn't like it. So, kind of expected that little guy is somewhat heavy for this quadcopter. I am almost at full throttle, folks. So I'm not really going to do much other than fly them around. This is more of an indoor flyer, I can tell you that right now. But that's what it looks like going back to lower rate. Oh, there's expert rate. But expert rate's not very much better. Let's see what, how fast we can get him going. Oh, he goes very fast. But again, I'm almost at full throttle. So that little guy is very heavy for this. Back to beginner rate. Intermediate rate. Well, I admit it looks cool. <laughs> but it's not super aggressive. It's going into vortex ring state very easily. You know, stalling out very easily. That, that little guy's a little bit too heavy for this quadcopter. I, I take them off, folks, but that's the main selling point of this quad is that little guy. Let's see if that range is true. We'll go down and from this net and see if I can make it in the other net, at the other end of the field. He's heading down that way. 
He's heading down now. I still got control. Let's see what the range of this is. Will I make it to the net? Yes. Shutting off the throttle. So, <laughs> the range of this is predicted to be 100 meters, and I made it from one end of the soccer field to the other. So, it is 100 meters. Okay, here we are at the other end, and the little man is tangled up in the soccer net. He caught it with his arm. Okay, we still got power. We still got power. Let's see if I can rebind it. Rebinding the transmitter. Going back up again. And going to intermediate rate to fight the wind. So it's cool looking little quad. Just a bit underpowered. Going to expert rate now to fight the wind at this end of the field. Yeah, he's heavy for this thing. Let's take him off. Let's see how this flies without him on board. Little man, you gotta get off of there. And again, it's just a rubber band holding this, or a plastic rubber band style thing. Let's take you off, little man. So, pop him off. Let's see how this flies without the little guy on top. And there, yeah, <laughs> much better. <laughs> okay, going upwind, we haven't demonstrated headless mode yet. And one key return. There's one key return, coming back, going back down. Oh yes, this flies much better without that guy on board. <laughs> going upwind again, fighting this wind, and pressing one key return. It tilts back, it comes back very well. Okay, lights are starting to flash. But let's try the headless, oh, maybe because I'm in headless mode. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in headless mode right now. Let's bring him down lower so you can see the headless mode. So, yes, it can fly in headless mode. Boy, that wind's picking up. It's fighting a five, seven knot, knot wind right now. I'm gonna fly the remainder of the flight and head the smug going to higher rate. Super high rate. Fight the wind. So yeah, this is more an indoor flyer, folks. Or folks, they can't fly outdoors, but that little guy is somewhat heavy for this. You know, you can impress your friends flying around indoors with an Imperial Speeder. <laughs> but there, and there's the battery part too, by the way. So let's get the little guy and put him back on for the final wrap up here. Again, he just attaches via his butt there. There's a little two attachment points that go in there and plop. Actually, you don't really need those rubber bands. He stays on there pretty well without the rubber bands. So this is again the Create Toys E. 90, uh, what is it? 902. E902 Prober. Hope you enjoyed the flight. This is Collect Copter 101. Signing out.